Okay, so kick it off real quick. Okay, so what is your view then on energy? Then, so you, you're saying okay, because we're talking about right now is um a little bit of of a mental thing, mm-hmm. a mental thing, right? Meaning, if you continuously tell yourself you're depressed, you're depressed, you're depressed, you're bound to become depressed, mm-hmm. right? Because you come be- become fixated on it, right? So you're saying it's not with energy. What do you think about that though? What do you think about when? I guess like it's such a big thing now, right? Like people use the word energy yeah, so much, yeah. right? Or like vibe now, right? What do you think about? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's non-existent? Like, what do you? Yeah. Um. What are your thoughts on well, that? Well, I I do think I don't. Is that you know what I mean? Like the word energy is like I have a problem with that word because people use it for everything. Mm. But I do I do use I do like the word vibe, the word vibras, mm-hmm. cause, you know, and not in that the chakra way, not in that way. I don't I don't know that way. Got you. Know? you. But I like that the. the there's some people that just have a thing about them, right? Um, obviously, if you're Christian, what I would say is you have the love of God in you. Mm-hmm. But if you're not Christian, there's some people who, who are just like, you know, that's a nice person to be around. That, that's a, like a picker up or person who makes you feel something. Right, right, right. right? Um, I remember we were having dinner uh, with Fatima's family, right, one day, like way back. And her nephew was there. Her nephew goes up to her after, right? I went home already. Uh, he goes, I, I like him. I, there's something about Chris. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and, and I was like, you know, I get that. Like, I get what he meant. It w- I don't know if he used the word energy, right? Because yeah, I don't use that word, or vibe or whatever. Right, right. But I think that, that people do have this, this thing about them, right? I think we're spiritual beings. I really do believe that. Mm-hmm. And I think that your spirit manifests different things. Obviously, when people say manifestation now, it becomes like a cliche thing. But it I really does. do believe that, that we... Um, we manifest, you know, whether that's peace, you know, some people just bring you like a certain peace, you know, you hear yeah. it all kinds of ways. You hear like, oh, that person's aura, that person's energy, that mm-hmm. person's chakras. Yeah. I, I think people who bring joy, light, yeah. laughter, right? Those are things that, that you, you can sense, you can feel kind of like, you know, um, I think you used to say this all the time. You're like, oh, when I'm with you and your brother, it's like a picker upper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you ask me, I'll be like. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you of course, Eddie, of course. But, but you sense that in people, especially the yeah. more you get to know them. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I need to go somewhere, I know who to go with. And you know, that that's like the one I get to because you pretty much defined it as like, it's just a thing. Like it's Because pretty much that's what it becomes. It becomes like a thing. Like you don't even know anymore. It's like, like I feel like everybody says vibe and everybody says like, you know, energy. And like, we kind of know what that means. Meaning like, I feel like, you know, it's not like the, maybe like, I guess like this, like, you know, big genie yeah. in a bottle type of energy thing. Like that's not necessarily what we're talking about. It's like that presence that you feel with somebody. You know, like you could talk to somebody, mm-hmm. talk. Yeah. You know, you can have a, an exchange of words and already have like a an idea of like, okay, like you seem kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, even like by somebody's like maybe even like vernacular, how they how they mm-hmm. speak, their slang maybe could like connect you a yeah, little yeah. bit. You get me? Yeah. It's like you said. I I I believe the same thing that we all are spiritual like creatures. So it's like, yeah, like I feel like that's real, but. I understand too, like, you know, you come from like the point of faith, so like, you don't want to necessarily be like, yes, yeah, like the chakras, because yeah. you don't necessarily know what it means. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm not just going to call it whatever everybody else calls it. I do believe that, you know, there's certain things we share, right? right. Like, but like, even, even that, like, to that, to that, you know, like, again, you know, I come from church too, so it's like a lot of, we are, or I will say, speak for myself, right? like, we were taught in that time a lot of things, like, you know, that to stay away from, right? Like, mm-hmm. things that were wrong, or like, these mm-hmm. things are off, this, that, the third. So, like, you don't, you know, growing up, you just, like, automatically in your head, be like, okay, that's bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, right? So you start to, like, think that all of these things are bad. Like, you start to think that yoga is bad without realizing that, you know, yoga's just stretching, bro. Like, there are, yeah. you know, maybe parts in yoga where it's it X, Y, and Z, mm. and they might be doing some yeah, things, yeah. you know, whatever. But, like, again, like, even when you go get acupuncture, you get me? That's, like, I guess a form of relaxation yeah. that people for do the nerves and the for your pressure points. Yeah. Like, that's a real thing. Like, th- you do have pressure points, which, again, that comes mm-hmm. down to chakras. So, again, I'm not 100% like, you know, versed or like, you know, educated in any of yeah. these things. So that's why I don't really like to just discredit them anymore now, because I would like to just hear like, OK, like what what is this like? Mm. What's the premise of this? I don't care about the God part of this. I just like what is the whole premise yeah, yeah, of yeah. this? Yeah, because like, I feel like that's where you kind of lose a lot of like some of the things that are kind of valuable. You get me in general. You get me with a lot of these mm-hmm. things. Like, for example, like. I'll, I'll take yoga, for example. Like, I don't do yoga. I've never done yoga in my life. But what I've seen from yoga and from, from what I've heard from yoga are two different things. Yeah, I, mean, I used to hear back in the day, yoga's like, oh, you know, you meditate in the corner. Yeah, and yeah. you come out your body. That's what I used to think yoga was. Mm-hmm. Like, it took time for me to realize, no, these people just stretch all day. Yeah, I mean, it's just that they do another part of, like, I guess um, mm-hmm. you'll call mental health. Like, even yeah. now, like, mental health advocates be like, oh, you know, you should meditate. I mean, meditate mm-hmm. can mean a lot of th- different yeah, things. Yeah. You get me in your own way. But I understand that. 
And that's that's what I kind of want to get to. I want to see your point of view there. I just want you to tell me about your bullying days. When Talk I, to me about your bullying when days. When I used to get bullied? No, when you used to bully. I don't, know how you, I don't like how you clarified that. Yes, like, yes. Like, like everybody knows, Chris. <laughs> no, nobody knows. No, no, nobody. That's just it, though. Nobody does not used to bully. Talk about that. Who, what? who did when I bully? Did, no, you definitely did. Like, you you had a high school, middle school, you had to have verbally, like, bully yeah, somebody or maybe uh, physically. No, no, no. Talk about Remember, it. Remember, um, listen, we all have trauma. We yeah, all go through mistakes, yeah, yeah. No, you know? No, no, but I wanna, we got to talk wanna, about them. I want to give the premise that I've never bullied anybody, mm. right? Have I made some people that's cry? That's not true. Maybe. That's bullying. Have I made fun of people all the time? That's bullying. But, but it's just like, all right, this is a thing, right? This is a thing that I feel like I share with with the old heads. Okay. Where like you know we didn't have the the luxury of being bullied. You either okay. you either rank or get ranked. Yes. That's how I grew up. So yes. Like you know people used to always point out my accent. Uh, I remember like in middle school people used to call me like the little Mexican bean. And I was like, <laughs> I was like Dude, Wait, I, they used to do what? Uh, yeah, like people. Know, I went to Carver. It was like a bunch of white people, right? And, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's like, it's like, dude, I'm not even Mexican. Like, I don't yeah, know yeah, where yeah, this yeah. come from, you know? Wait, wait, so white people were just like, oh, a little Mexican yeah, so, kid. But, yeah. but you know, I was, Donald Trump's but a bunch I, of Donald I Trump's. Never, I never backed down, so that's my thing. So it's, you're pretty, you're pretty much saying Republicans have always been your enemy. <laughs> it's pretty much what you're saying. <laughs> I, I know we have a debate today, but we're about to start it. Yeah. Oh, there's a debate today? Yeah. The last the last presidential one. And they're muting the mic, right? Fire. I'm gonna be out there. About time. We're gonna talk about this one. This come what, out what, fire brother, why you said i'm gonna be out there like you're in the crowd yeah <laughs> <I'll be out laughs> the we're gonna be <laughs> yeah, live streaming yeah, you remember how the nba had the little people i wish i would be like <laughs> <laughs> <The virtual. laughs> you're gonna see me in cnn thing Ooh, that, oh my no, goodness bro. okay um, go ahead go ahead yeah so I, I you've never, definitely bullied somebody before you've made fun of them some way no, somehow no, I've we've all been joked. part of this I, yeah, culture i definitely joked I don't know what you're going to tell okay, me. Okay, what's uh, what's the worst one? Tell me your worst one. The, who's, like, what's the worst one that you remember to this? Like, you're like, damn, like, I, I probably went too far on that one. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know, bro. I don't even regret, so I don't remember. Get the fuck I out mean, of here, Chris. I mean, that's just I remember nothing. So you've never made somebody cry and been like, that, like, fell for it? It's not even about regret. It's just like, damn, like, I don't know. No, like, no, they that, even remember? The, the few times I felt like, damn, I said something, is when I was really out of pocket. You know what I mean? Like, when I went... Like, all right, Chris, you didn't have to go there. You know what I mean? <laughs> petty? Like, petty? No, nah, not petty. Because it was, it was like I wasn't doing that out of spite. Because I think, I think pettiness is more about like when you're trying to low blow. Okay. For me, it was just like, you know me. I start talking, I start talking, I start talking, and then something's come out. And I'm like, oh, dang. I went too far. <laughs> oh, dang. You know, talk about it. Talk nah, about it in nah, detail. Nah, I can't talk I about wanna it. I want to hear it. I can't talk about detail. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. You know? Okay. Me, me so, and my lawyers, wait, wait. Never so we, are, we are the, but you have been, uh, okay. So you have bullied though before then. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've definitely okay. verbally talk abused about people. you being bullied then. Uh, What's the worst one that hit you? The worst one you can remember. Mm. Oh, this is this is honestly this changed my whole life. Like All if right. you ever if you if you did make a cut, make a cut, make like put like a sad video, but like song in the background. Okay, this th one. This one. This one marked me for All real. Right, and this is for real. Hear this. Like, this is for real. For real. For real. This is like an I am down exclusive. I think I've only told the people that were there that day that know. Mm -hmm. right. So one day we're in church. We're still at Jackson. We used to chill by the little bench or whatever. And uh, you know, I don't know how the conversation went about, but and Jody goes, "You do know nobody actually likes you, right?" And I go, "What?" And you know, it was like it was out of nowhere. Like I don't remember. I still don't remember what was the context of the conversation. Like why? I, like, I just remember she said that, and then Fatima goes, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that nobody likes you, Chris, right?" And they weren't even being mean. They were like being like mad serious, which was the weird thing to me. And then I go to some girl there, like, uh, you know, another person there. And I go, yo, come on. She's like, nah, actually, they're, they're pretty much right. Everybody thinks you're obnoxious when they first meet you and nobody really likes you. So and, and I was like, oh. so okay, that okay, was the wait, day. Wait. So, all right, talk about, talk about. so look, walk, walk me through this. Walk me through this. Okay, so you're out. I know exactly what you're talking about, the little bush, the little bush mm. thing. So y'all sitting there, y'all smacking, talking, whatever, yeah. chilling. You don't know what it came out to be, but it's, okay, so it sounds like you probably said something like under somebody's skin, and they must have been like, like, yo, you do know that nobody yeah, really I, like I, you. I, I, okay. like, you know, you know, like, let's be honest, when somebody, something really marks you, you don't remember anything about it, just that specific little, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm being cheated off. This is the only moment I can, to this day, it marked me. At first, it was like, like a slap in the face, and then <laughs> it was like the most liberating thing in the world. Okay. And I'm going to tell you what, because... At first, I couldn't believe it. I To this day, part of me thinks I'm the most likable person ever. Number one, and you can attest to this, I don't talk crap about nobody. Like, I actually, like, gossip about people. I hate gossip. Yeah. Right? Number two, I like to make everybody laugh. Like, I don't, even if I haven't met you, you know, I want to be your friend. Like, I want you to like me and I want to like you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, and number three is I like 
joy. Like I really like being loud and obnoxious and messing around with people. I understand that not, that's not everybody's temperament. So people find it obnoxious and annoying. And I get that. Right. But that I, I always thought that was the premise. I was like, I'm charismatic. I'm likable. I think people like me. Yeah. Right. Um, then that day I found out nobody really likes me. <laughs> and then that after that, you know, I sat with it. Boy, did you really believe that nobody liked you? Yeah, yeah, no, because they started putting examples, and then they were like, "Oh, you know, like this person finds you obnoxious, this person finds you annoying." And then, uh, and but, I, but it was it was specific to like the environment that you're in, but not all environments that you're yeah, in. Yeah, but but if that's the environment I'm most in, uh, then it has so to then be true. Only it has to be true everywhere else too. Okay, yeah, a and um, yeah. So eventually, though, this is the the, re the resolution, the healing, the maturity. I realized. Like, dang, you know, all this time I made an effort to try to, like, be a nice person to people. And people still don't like you. And let's be honest. I, I'm, I try to be a nice per person, but I still joke around. I still mess around. I still make mm -hmm. fun of people. But, like, I try not to be out of pocket. Like, when I'm out of pocket, I feel bad and I apologize. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and people still don't like me. That, that set me free of, of, you know what? Yo, it doesn't matter, bro. People are still ain't going to like you no matter what. And to this day, now I'm more reckless so, than ever. So now it's like, eh. F it. I'm gonna just yeah, keep being like, a bully or like, like, like nah, not bully, but you know, I'm doing just, your thing. I'm just like, you know, people, look, you're gonna be calling me loud, you're gonna call me obnoxious, you're gonna say I talk too fast, you're gonna say I'm doing this, you're gonna say I'm doing that. Cool. As long as you don't say Chris disrespected me, because then that that's something I need to take into account. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to disrespect nobody. But if I'm just being me and still being respectful and people don't like me, I'm cool. Well, what's the then what would be the cap for you? Like, what would be the like Cause you know it's true, right? We joke around like that. You know, we give people hard times, mm -hmm. and we usually attack like something that is real. But many times we might say stuff that's not even real at all. You get me? Like we just exaggerate mm -hmm. stuff. You get me? So what would be like that cap for you? Like what what would be like considered disrespectful? Uh, like, cause for example, you could say something like for you was jokingly, right? That like you feel like you mm -hmm. didn't cross the line. But what if they felt disrespected? Though? They could say, "Oh, Chris disrespected." Yeah, you. like I would never like call a girl a thotty, right? And and okay. I have called girls implied, implicate implied, right? Yeah, In a very yeah. clever way. <laughs> that that's what I meant. He's a very clever. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, you know me, I don't, there's... how do you cleverly call a girl a thotty? You know, like, for example, you're like, damn, bro, it's going to open more, like, more than the 24-7, like the 7-Eleven, oh, you know what I mean? Like, got you, you know got you. Mean? Okay, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. but a lot of times, people take insult to things that they already feel themselves. That's the reality of it, right? And so I'm being disrespectful, not, in the comment per se, but in the insecurity you already have. Mm -hmm. And I should have been mindful of maybe you're dealing with this. Like, like I never make fun of people's weight. Mm. Because that's one of the things that I know we're all dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, And I don't mean all per se, but okay. for the most part, okay. I, I would never be like, if somebody's big, I'm not going to go and call them big. That's not. But don't you think that that's probably like the best thing to come at though? The things that we can change about yeah. ourselves? Yeah, but, but you know, like the thing is, it's like when you're insecure about something and then somebody brings it up, Right. It's like a double-edged sword that just cuts, cuts in the inside and the outside. Yeah. And, and it's like, at that point, it's humiliating. It's not longer like, like and I get it. Some people, because you're the type of person who's like, that's good. Make them feel bad so they a change. A little fat shaming. So yeah, you, 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 you have no problem with that because I get it. You like, because yeah. you're a person who's like really like spearheaded. Like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it. <laughs> but I, I feel like not everybody well, is like that. it's because, I'm going to give you an example right now, right? So le le let's put the Tory Lanez example. Something that we haven't talked too yeah. much about here in this, in this way, right? So what... Besides what happened with, you know, Tori and Meg, right? What the meme started coming out was the short shaming stuff, right? Making fun of him because mm -hmm. he's short, mm -hmm. this at the third, right? So, like, some, you know, your height is something that you cannot really change. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Unless yeah, you yeah. go and put on some big ass shoes, but like, you can't go do, you can't get your knees mm -hmm. done yet. You know what I mean? You can't do things like that yet. You know what I mean? So, Bone until, right. So, until they come up with things like that, your height is something that you're stuck with, yeah, right? Yeah. So, you got all these people, right? That I feel like, Maybe the people making fun of his height aren't the same people that are standing up for like you know, uh, body the bodily image you know like yeah. with the girls with the, the bodily image and all of that stuff. I'm, I I mean I would hope that it's not the same people, but I guess the internet so it yeah. might be the same motherfuckers. You get me? So you don't know, <laughs> but you know we make fun of people for their height for this that the third. You know, for things that they cannot change, things that we make yeah. fun of people for things that they're born with. You know, somebody might be born with a huge mm -hmm. nose. You make fun of that. I just feel, and I understand what you're saying too, because I okay, the mature side understands that yes, like you know, when you're dealing with these things, these are like, you know, when people make fun of you, these are traumas first of all that we cause, mm -hmm. right? For sure, they are. Yeah, I mean, because these are things that hurt you mm -hmm. on the inside. This goes back to like, um, what is it? Sticks and stones mm -hmm. may hurt my bones, but words mm -hmm. never hurt me. Being yeah. BS because it is. Yeah, it I mean, like, hurts more than sticks. Exactly. And stones. Most people cry yeah. more for that than anything because it really is a mental battle. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you get beat up, you go home, either you fight back or whatever. You know, but when you get like you know talk that and you can't really talk back, that 
that nothing hurts more than mm-hmm. that. You get me for sure. So I understand that the mature side of me understands that. But then like I feel like there's like this, I guess maybe realistic side that's like, yes, but sometimes that is what triggers people to like go ahead and be better. Like for example, if there's a guy that's constantly being called broke boy all the time and like getting like ridiculed mm-hmm. by women, right, all the time. I feel like, and obviously this doesn't apply for every man, but I feel like there's going to come a point where that guy's going to be like, all right, bro, let me go shit on y'all real quick. Give me about a couple years Take real quick. I'm going to come haters. back. Of course, because, you know, that chip, on, like, we talk a lot about having that chip on your shoulder, and that is what it is. You get me? A lot of people have chip on your shoulders. That's why they work so hard. You get me? Think about it. Think about how much people come from, like, the very bottom, and all they want to do is make it so that they can, like, tell, like, you know, the people that once told yeah. them, oh, you're not going to make it, like, bro, look at what I did. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when it comes to, like, let's say something about weight, like, you're saying that's off limits for you, which I understand. You get me for sure. But then I just, I just feel like, like, I have friends that have definitely gone to lose weight because they've been made, they made fun of for their weight. You get what I'm saying? Like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, it that, makes some people like, all right, but yeah. like, no, no, but that's, shame that's is not, a little good sometimes. Yeah, I, I feel you. Cause that's what I'm saying. Like, part of me, like, relates to the old heads where they're like, man, this generation is too soft. Because, but, because, like, look, if you grew up with, like, us, right? Like, you grew up in the neighborhood and you're just chilling. Um, you were going to get ranked on something. It no, was, if it, all day. If it wasn't your tape, it was your shoes. If it wasn't your shoes, it was your teeth. If it wasn't your teeth, it was your nose. And, and it back was your then, way. It was and, your whatever. And back then, we were so specific. Yeah. Like, like, for example, right now you said about the tape. Like, with the tape, we were so dumb back in the day. Like, if your tape was like, it had like a little chip or anything. Like, you know, remember? Yeah, like, you had like, a widow speak. Yeah. Yeah, I, have, I mean, I have a huge widow speak. I have a remoline. So, my, my barber, when I grow my hair out, he has to actually go higher on my tape. So, it's like... Any little thing, we're like, boom, immediately yeah, attacking bro. it. But those are the things that, bro, think about it. If you have a remolino, your stuff don't look good. Think about how many times you have to get ranked for you to be like, all right, bro, let me talk to my barber real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to <laughs> fix it. Yo, like, now you're going back to school, getting ranked again. Like, bro, let me get it's a ranked first to your barber because my barber ain't doing it. Think about how many kids dress so lame to school. Oh, like, yeah, so bad, 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 like, so bad. Like, so bad. bad. And it took you getting ranked, like, for you to yeah. realize, all right, bro, like, maybe, you know, this is a better option. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, no, but, but, like, let me give you an example, right? In my, in my case. I'm going to call this little, I'm going to split the script and I'm going to call it when ranking, no, I don't know, uh, this is going to be the headline for right now, when ranking goes right. Because yeah. sometimes ranking goes wrong, you get me? Yeah. But I feel like sometimes ranking goes right, like it goes the right way. Yeah, but I think it only goes the right way if you take it as such. You know what I mean? Like, that, because uh, it's not the words, it's the person that receives the words. Like, um, there's people who can use that as fuel. Like, you know, we were, before this You're started, right. we were just talking about Kobe and the Kobe mentality and the, the killer mamba mentality, yeah, yeah. right? Like, yo, Kobe, if somebody pointed out to him something he couldn't do, he would go and train that specific thing a million times yeah. until he got it better. Uh, but that's the competitor and that's the killer in him. Yeah. M- most people don't have that, especially nowadays when we're, you know, all about being, you know, culture sensitive, word sensitive, and yeah. blah, 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 sensitive. And it's like, I got no problem with it. I'm just, I'm just telling you, like, yo, the world is cold. The world doesn't care. And, and what we're doing is we're sheltering each other too much. Mm-hmm. So then when the world comes, then what we do is we cancel people instead of understanding, like, you know, but but even in the hood, there was a lot of people who got butt hurt, bro. You just, you just, you know what? I think it's that they didn't have the luxury <laughs> to say it because you drop a tear, ain't nobody letting it go. Said, this is the thing. In the hood, it really went one of two. Oh, maybe three ways, right? It's either you didn't say nothing, so you cried or you took it. But, but you don't cry in public because anybody exactly, letting it go. Exactly, exactly. Well, th- we learned that some girls couldn't take this. So we, <laughs> well, just, girls, we learned this, yes, we learned this a hard way that some there's some girls that you just I, I'm learning this a hard way now. Like if being in a relationship, I was gonna, I'm gonna ask you that next. But I feel like you know in the hood or like in the streets, right? You know, smaller cities, mm. whatever you want to call it. You either took it one or two ways. Either you're gonna say nothing because you you ain't had the yeah, skill yeah. to say something back, or you was gonna cry in private. You rank back, right? Which is what most yeah. of us try to do. Or if you really were about that life, you're going to say, you're going to fight. Exactly, you're going to fight. Exactly. So those are really the only ways that you could have, like, yeah, dealt with yeah, these yeah. things. Which, at, at the end, if you really think about it, it's so fucked up. Because it really is, like, yo, we're all, like, like lower class people coming down on lower. Like, think about, the, yeah, like, think about like, you know, realistically, right? Like, if you rank on somebody's clothes, it's like, oh, we were all going to the same yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. We're all living the same. We're all and poor. We we're all wearing the we're same all poor. Job. That's what I'm saying. We're all poor. We're like, we're making fun of poor people for being poor, and we're poor too. It's just be like that. That's it's fucked up. Like no, but yeah, this is what I'm saying, though. As you grow up and you learn this shit, you realize, like, yo, we were fucked up. You know what I was just thinking about, too? Like, before I ask you this question, this next question, I remember being in, in middle school, right? And, like, th- think about how we would think, like, back in the day, right? We would specifically target the nerdy girls. 
right? And what we would do is that when we would be behind them in middle, just like sixth grade, right? We would like slowly open the zipper of the Jasper because we know we all had Jasper. Remember, Jasper yeah, had the, the black little, one. The the, little exactly. Black. So, you know, I had the big pack and the little pack yeah. in the middle, right? Well, not in the middle, like at the bottom, right? So, we'll slowly, you know, you walk in, you don't feel nothing, right? Yo, we'll open that bag and we start taking your dollars. You know, back in the middle school, you had dollars, these <laughs> yeah, little the snack, dollars. Yeah, the little somebody had five dollars? pizza money? Woo! You came up. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you got pizza for two days and cookies. Bro, we were stealing like as like little kids. Is. Like yo, think about that shit. Like, like and this was fun this for us. Yo, no, no, no. Uh, you know, you did this. Too, I bro. never stole. You my never life, did none of those no, stuff. No, no. Nothing, nothing like that. You no, never no. stole like nothing for some. But this is the thing. Bro, I just, I we didn't realize that this. Me talking about, I didn't want to go to hell. Yeah, I, but this was when you were a kid. We didn't know. better. I didn't know better. You thought, I knew better. Well, actually, I did knew better. But this wasn't like okay. We wasn't stealing money for like. Like, because we needed the money. Yeah, just, well, well, it's for stuff. fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's just like, yo, it's fun sneaking yeah. and taking that yeah. shit. Then you got to spit the money with your <laughs> friends that helped you. Get some airheads. <laughs> but the vending machine was fire in middle school. Yeah. But everybody went to Shandor, you know, you was going to get the little Pop-Tart. And I forgot which which Pop-Tart. It was like the chocolate frosting Pop-Tart. Oh, yeah. I used and to get that joke in high school. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you know exactly yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So that, bro, that's what we was all going for yeah, all day. That thing cost like a dollar. With the cream. With the cream on the top. You open it. Okay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's that's really what we was doing. So was doing some dumb stuff but on to my to my question so this is one thing i've learned right is that bro like girls really aren't like guys and i used to always listen i've never in my life treated a girl like a girl you get what i'm saying like like if that makes sense mm -hmm. so like all the friends i had that are girls like i'll i'll rank on you i don't care now <laughs> going back to my life that don't work out no you more you get bro. in a fight, it, in a fight. It, you do though you like i'd be like damn bro like i'd be and this is the funniest thing too because this is how i feel old right i'd be feeling old because i'd be like i'll be saying i'll be like scratching i'd be like damn bro i would have said this to my home but this shit would not this shit would have been cool this yeah, shit would have been cool that, that's that's but the worst part the worst part you uh, be thinking you be thinking to yourself like yo this girl really making a big deal out of nothing that, Yes, like and you then, didn't realize and then that. And she's giving you that stank look like this idiot don't understand what he just said. How do you deal with that? Explain I, to me how you deal with this. Because you've been in be, this longer than me, buddy. I'm be a hundred, I'm hundred, hundred, hundred. And you still mess up okay, to this day. First of all, we know I my know mom. It. My mom don't <laughs> shut up. It. My mom don't shut up. I've been getting in trouble all the time. Uh, on, on Sunday, I said a joke that I shouldn't have said. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so hey, but wait, wait, wait. Why is it like a little kid, bro? Because I said a joke because that in my, I should in my not book, have said. In my book, it was like a fine joke. So instead, I tell you, you're going to be like, that ain't a big deal. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, and I ain't going to tell you on camera because you gotcha, know, know gotcha. what it is. I hear you. I but hear you. Uh, I'm going to tell you out there. Remind me to tell you out there. <laughs> I got you. Uh, so I said a joke that I shouldn't have said, not because I thought it was a big deal. It's not a big, a big deal. Yeah. It's just because she's not a homie. Yeah. Right? And so... She literally said, like, she calls me right now and she's like, oh, you know, you realize I ghosted you for three days. I'm like, oh, I know. And she's like, I, I just, I was mad. And she's like, and I know it wasn't your fault because, you know, it's a joke, but I didn't want to snap on you. So I just gave myself a break. But, but like, you know, this is maturity because realistically what, what would have happened is I get, I get snapped down for no reason. And then I'm just going to take it because I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I would tell you this. I would tell you this. I'm going to tell you why you're safe. You're safe because you yet to live yeah, with your girl. I was gonna say the same thing. I, I was just about to be like, but it's different when yes, you live with somebody yes. because you gotta deal with that person. Bro, you gotta be in the same room, yeah. in the same bed. Like that's that that's one of those things where like now I'm learning that it's like, all right, bro, you cannot like you like this is the thing too. And any girl that listens to this is gonna get bothered because girls always get bothered by this. Like girls always get bothered when you tell them that they're not cool or like they're not like. Like, they don't know how to, like, take certain yeah, things. Like, yeah. Always, all the time. They're like, what? They're like, too sensitive. Cause, exactly. Because, again, it goes back to that joke, right? Kevin Hart said that joke about, like, how moms, they try to be the disciplinary and the cool people. You know I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, you can't. Yeah. You can't be both. You know what I'm saying? So, One like, or the other. Homie. So, I feel like women usually are like that. They, they try to, like, you know, like, be like, you know, like, oh, I'm putting my foot down. But they try to be cool at the yeah. same time. And it's like, you, like you said, you really can't. So, this is one thing I've learned. It's like, all right. I really have to tread softly now and watch what I say sometimes because it's not like, for example, like, you know, you, you have something, oh, I ghost you for three days. No, motherfucker, we sleep together. All right? We're in the same bed. Like, You're going to get up in the morning. Exactly. Like, it's when, and let me tell you something. Nothing is really, like, just talking about energy than tension. Like, oh. when you can feel tension, oh. like, you can feel it between you. It's you, like... You're trying to catch air because you can't breathe. No, my God, it's the worst thing because first of all, like, this is, but this is where you grow the most, right? And this, this is why I would say that because... It's caused me in in a time where I might be like, all right, bro, whatever, like you know, deal with it. Like you said, you might cool off in three days, you know, whatever. 
it, it just can't happen like this because uh, especially how I am, I'm like, no, 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 listen, we gotta fix this tonight because if we don't talk about this tonight, I can't go to sleep. I can't go to really? sleep. No, I, I can't go to sleep because, bro, like, think about it, you in the bed, like, your girl got her back to you, like, it's like, I, I ain't gonna lie, maybe it's I mean, different. Well, and, and that, no, that doesn't happen to me. I'm saying, like, think about that, though. Like, if your girl's, like, with the... So what happens with me is, like, I get, like, the silent treatment, right? So I'll get the silent treatment, like, real quick, and I'll be like, yo, so you mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look at you, like... <laughs> you so you, I gotta hit you with the, with the... So you just gonna say mad at me? That, that's what we're doing now? That, that's what we're doing? <laughs> so I just said one joke. The one joke that you said was cool. I said one joke and I, no, okay. okay. You told me we was going to be homies first over everything. Exactly. So now, you know, as, as like somebody who, me personally, who I'm trying to check my ego and like really trying to not, because me getting driven by my ego is going to make me be like, all right, bro, fine. Deal with it. I'm not going to talk. You know, I'm going to be on that dumb shit. You get me? So me trying to deal with my ego is like, all right, bro, just vibe for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Ch- check out how it is yeah, yeah. a little bit and then try to talk. And so I ask you because, you know, you're, you're in this is like, what you're basically saying is that it hasn't worked out for you regardless because you are who you are. So you always going to say some dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, man, but no I, matter I, what. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, look, this is one thing that I think dudes need to learn, right? That all heads when they tell you they're happy wife, happy life. Oh, yo, you know, you know, like what happened? I hated hearing that when we, I was a kid. We dumb. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. We are dumb. We think we're trying to fight the system. We, are, we think that <laughs> we're trying to fight 30 the years of marriage yeah, yeah, yeah. is like, <laughs> ang- don't got no experience left. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like uh, man, I'm going to yeah. be different. Yeah. Nah, bro. You know, I, and I'm going to tell you straight up, I have a, a relief in the sense that that I like being alone. So so when yeah. Fatima goes me or like, it, you know, I'm it's like, like, I, I, I can enjoy yeah, my company. Yeah, yeah. But but then I'm, I'm like, you know, it's the difference if I live with her. Because uh, she, nah, she calls me, she ain't ghosting me. She ain't ghosting me. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see her in the hall I, I'm like gonna a ghost. I'm going to see her sizing you know. me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah. sent to the sofa. You know For what I mean? Sure. And I got back problems. I need to <laughs> <laughs> but hold up, though. Hold up. Wait, wait. Ba- backtrack a little bit, right? Uh-huh. So you said you said something real specific that I just forgot what you said. So what were you saying? What what were the old well, happy. There we go. Happy life, happy life, right? Yo, that whole thing, I've hated that. Like, that whole happy life, happy... Because uh-huh. it's, I guess, it's like this thing within within men. It's like between it's like, men. Yeah, it's I like, don't need that. I don't need that. Yeah, it's like, yo, but you also want to fight the system. It's like, well, what? No. I'm going like, to prove everybody wrong. Because, look, my number one thing to this day is, like, I still cannot, like... Like, let's say, like, you're wrong. I think you're wrong. I'm just you're wrong. That's me all the time. Yeah, so, like, yeah. It, there is no, like, okay, fine, whatever, have it. Even though I've done it now, it's like, I you do it because then you realize, like... All right, bro. Like it's not exactly worth that like serious. going to yeah, go ahead yeah. and argue because it's it's like yo women really do build you in that thing when you are in a relationship and you care about it. Like you really have to like kind of like pull punches. Yeah, yeah. You have to be like, damn, bro. Like I really gotta deal with like not yeah. expressing this, not expressing that. So it's an interesting thing to be in because I think as men though, regardless, like we always feel like oh we're trying to have our way. Like it's our yeah, way yeah. or the highway. Mm-hmm. And I've always said like yo when women come and I feel like I feel like when women come into when women come into men's lives, it's usually to, like, organize and get me and bring about that change because we're kind of sloppy for the most part. Like, you think about a bachelor and you look at a bachelor pad or, like, a guy that has no girl, like, he just lives by himself. The crib is usually, like, you uh, know... I'm a very organized person, actually. Oh, well, you're organized, for sure, but you're not every guy. Like, think about the majority okay, of men yeah. that, like... Are, I, I get what you're cause, saying, Because yeah. it could be the opposite. Yeah. Your girl could be the mess and you bring organization to her life. They could be like yeah, that, too. Yeah, but I do think that what you're saying, like, overall, the idea of being... They bring something that you don't have, right? Well, but, th- but that's not, what I was going to get is that I just feel like sometimes, though, the reason why we need to take the back seat in that, in that realm is because of that. Because... We're so much as in like, yo, it's my way or the highway. Like, you know, I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get that. That's that's how we usually are. So it's like sometimes it's just not like like you need to let your girl do certain things for you to grow in a different way. You get me? Yeah. Like letting shit slide is part of life. It's like, like it's maturity. A, that's what I'm trying to say. Like yeah. letting certain things slide and go by. Under, like for, this one that you taught me that like, yo, not everything you need to like have an argument about. Or, or what you used to say something specific. Not, you don't need to say, so you don't need to respond yeah, to not every. everything requires a response. Like there we go. So. You, that's a very big thing I feel in learning with men because men have egos. Like, for example, you try a guy in the basketball court, you're trash, yo, the ego comes out. Oh, I'm trash? All right, we're yeah. going to figure this out right now. Yeah. Boom, boom, right? You go out in the street and you size somebody up the wrong way. It ego automatically yeah, comes out. Yo, you good? So when your girl checks you, that's something that we don't like because it feels like you back again in the street. Somebody yeah, just yeah, checked yeah. you. Somebody just called you out. Somebody, so is your egos responding. And now it's like, ah, oh, so what do you want to do? But again, though, you know, you're not, you can't take that 
that um approach with everything yeah, in life yeah, there's yeah. certain approaches where you need to learn how to mm-hmm. like okay let me and i feel like that's what your woman teaches you when you get into these arguments or it's these little predicaments you kind of start to learn like okay you know what this ain't worth it because yeah, yeah. this was going to lead to again you try to apply these things that you learn into the everyday life but you know me someone who's new i'm going through it's there's times where i'm like mm, man but like Okay, fuck it. Like I understand yeah. what this can do. Yeah, I mean, so I guess it's just looking at like the different angle of things. Yeah. But again, understanding like I, I'm still on the same page. I'm not growing it yet, and I understand that's the mature side. But like I said, there's that other side of me that's like, no, 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 I'm not fully grown yeah, up and yet, and, and you know. I think two, two <coughs> points, right? Number one is I think we need to redefine what we consider a victory when when we're in a relationship. That's a good point, right? Because uh, I think uh, when you're first in a relationship or you're first in anything, guys, we just want to win the argument. Mm-hmm. Right, but when you're in a relationship, you have to define what victory means. Because vic- victory is not winning the argument; it's making sure you're good after the argument. <laughs> exactly. Right. And number two. Good point. Number two. Um, I, I think we need like, ah oh man, we, we need to be like to realize we we really are dumb. Like I think women know this, and all the men <laughs> know this, but like we young people, we think we we we're not dumb, and we're dumb. Like, yeah. Uh, you know. Men, for the most part, when they're older, they, they choose a path of less resistance, right? They realize, you know, uh, the wife is the boss. Like you're not fighting, though. Yeah, That's like it. The like wife is yeah. the boss. Yeah. You know, as long as she's cool and she don't bug me while I'm watching my game, I'm chilling. But you and I, we're, we're thinking, nah, bro, this is how I envision relationships, and mm-hmm. it got to be like this, mm-hmm. right? And then, you know, the problem is that we don't. <laughs> but but I would say this though to to the point of, like, you know, as you get older, you kind of take the path of less resistance, like you said, right? I feel like that's where your cool starts to diminish. Mm -hmm. You get me? And you still need to, I feel like as a man, you still need to keep a certain level of cool. You know what I'm saying? And I think you need to have a carrot, like a spine. Exactly. Because, yeah, like something that you also said, right? Like you can't, you cannot be like the little wee guy that everybody walks walks on. You get Mm -hmm. me? You can't. Like, and no woman wants that. And that's that's always going to be facts. So there is a level of, pushback that you also need to yeah, have yeah, yeah, you get me sure. but that that's just it though that's where learning where you pick those those fights because it's so true what you're saying it's not when you're young it really is about like oh i won this argument because i have the point but no when you're when you really realize like yo we're a team like mm-hmm. we're supposed to be one and we're gonna have disagreements because we have two different yeah. opinions and stuff that's what you realize like no it's not about who won what it's about yo are we like are we cool as far as like what i express yeah, to you yeah. moving mm-hmm. forward but the thing is, though, that I feel like that's where, like, you know, you have your classic, like, boring, like, husband that, like, you know, he just ends up getting into a real routine. You get me? Like, yo, I go to work, I go here, I go there. She does everything. You can't, you can't no, do that. No, you can't no, have no, that no, level. No, no. You still need to have a certain level of, like, I guess you could say control. But she's, you don't want to lose your nuts completely. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. you do want to give up some of that ego power. Yeah, yeah. Like, you want to yeah. let a lot of that go. You get me? Because that's really going to be, like the biggest detriment to you period yeah. is usually and, and, and I think like uh, you, you'll hear like I, I listen to a lot of older marriages right like especially preachers yeah. they'll talk about like one of the things that's forbidden in their household is we don't ever say divorce the word divorce doesn't exist in the household right mm. because I, I think that that is where young people fail sometimes is we always have that ace in our sleeve whereas like if it all fails I'm bucking mm-hmm. Whereas grown people or, or mature people, right? And when I say grown, I don't mean older. I mean mature, yeah. right? When I when somebody's more mature, they're saying, no, 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 no. We're going to be pissed. We're going to be mad, but we're going to still be here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there is no out here. Yeah. So we have to find a way to be in. Do you do you believe that? I, like, I, I, like I, I, look, unless it's, uh, you know, unfaithfulness, abuse. Why do you think unfaithfulness as a man? I, I think because it's or a breach it's a breach of trust. Like you mm-hmm. you really at that point what you thought you had is not what you had. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like un- unless it's like unfaithfulness and or, or abuse. I think abuse is like yo you shouldn't stay with a man who abuses you. Yeah. Ladies like you know. A period. Yeah. Um, ever ever. Uh, <coughs> um, mm-hmm. And I think that those two things besides that is like mm-hmm. everything else we can get over. And even even because I believe in Jesus. I even believe in unfaithfulness. I don't excuse it, but God can still you lead could. the restoration. You can. Very but difficult. And, and, I, and I mean, and obviously abuse, but I'm not saying that you should stay. I'm saying maybe that person eventually grows and you guys can, can restore. Right, right. Both situations means get out first, let them grow, and then we can figure out if right. the Lord allows it. Right. But uh, overall, I think that those are well, the only things I think, I think like, yo, they cannot be here. So yeah. I don't play that game. Like even now, if a team of Santos punches me, kidding, I'm like, I, I literally go, yo, 
and she'd be like, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. And it's not a fear. It's because I don't play that game. Mm. Because if we'll play that game now, then point. when we're in the same house, that won't be a game anymore. It yeah. might actually become one day where either she raises her hand or I, w- I would never raise my hand at her. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. any woman for that matter. Yeah. Um, you know, I would rather get punched in the face than let a yeah. girl, you know, me right, right. hit a girl. But um, but I don't ever want it to get to that point that there's no respect in our physical boundaries. Because no, if right. there's no respect in the physical boundaries, there's definitely no respect in the verbal ones either. Right, yeah. That, and, that's, and so that's a good point. I think that those are things that uh, as young people we, we need to, to understand. It's like, man, respect applies most to the person you're with. Yeah. You know, that's that's also very true. Like, if you can't, if your wife or your girlfriend, like the person, like you said, you're with, you cannot show them the utmost respect, like the yeah. biggest, you get me? Then I don't think you could do that for, for anybody probably else. anybody else, yeah. realistically, because mm-hmm. you're going to, un- unless you hold your girl, like, way down here, and you hold everybody up here, which that would be the weirdest yeah, thing it'll in It'll be head. the worst balance ever, too. Right, but, you know, you, you're absolutely right. But the reason I ask, as a man, right, can you not, um, like you know the unfaithfulness part. I just feel like as a man, like you know, you it's very hard for a man to stay with a woman after she's been unfaithful because we are so ego driven. Yeah, I think the the breach of trust is like we don't see a way out. You know what I mean? But if besides the breach of trust, I feel like that also in the, this varies between man and man, but that also can cause a lot of insecurities in a man because yeah. if you're a secure man, period, and you're secure in who you are. Then they shouldn't, right? But a lot of men aren't secure in who yeah, they are. Yeah, they're like, oh, what, what does that person have? What did the person offer? Because just what? like, because yeah. just like girls, right? Girls, they'll ask, what does she have that I don't? Were you in love with her? Because those are things that they hold yeah, very dear to them, them, right? And then men, they hold a lot of physical things. I'm not saying that they don't hold no emotional things because those things matter, but you know, I feel like since we like look with our eyes first and we're like, damn, like you know, that girl's fine, this girl's beautiful, whatever. That's what we think women are doing mm. too. Like they saw a guy that looked yeah. way better than you or whatever, and, and you know that that that. So what you're saying is true, but like when it comes to like you know the no divorce thing, that's such a hard thing because you do get married, you take vows, right, for better or worse. But then like when you put that in practice, like in real life practice, that's such a like hard thing. Of I course. feel like yeah, n- especially yeah. nowadays, I'm like you know uh, and forget the yeah. fifty percent no, no, you know no. divorce rate, forget yeah. about that. Just in general, yeah. like just being in a relationship where. We're like, yo, like you really like, like how many people, ho- I guess, hold that value? You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. Look, and, and nowadays, right? Like, uh, there, I know a lot of people who who've lived to, who are living together, um, whether it's at work or whatever different situations, and that that are just not married, right? And and I'll ask, you know, oh, how, what is the difference? You guys have been together forever. What is the difference if you guys get married or not? And, and uh, I'm like, you guys should get married because yeah. in the end, you guys are thinking you're gonna be here forever, right? Yeah. Uh, but I, that's my point. My thing is, I really do feel that us as young people, we always want to have that, that in our sleep. I feel like if we say we're married, we don't see a way out anymore. It's hard. And and, yeah. and that's the, the danger. It's like, if you don't, if you see this as like marriage is the last straw, the last thing, you miss the idea of what marriage was in the first place. Yeah. Because, you know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have a, a like, a, just in case it doesn't work out. No, what do you, I'm not, I shouldn't be thinking like that. At, at all, yeah. That's if a good I'm point. thinking like that, then I probably shouldn't be in this. Well, you know, that, that, that's an interesting point you bring, right? Because I feel like, even now, right? You know, we live, we're in a climate now where I feel like, you know, it's more than ever the mm-hmm. niggas ain't shit, yeah. the girls ain't shit, that, that whole climate, right? Yeah. I feel like we all do come into relationships with like, like our guards up, our, off back. Yeah. I'll speak for myself. I was the exact same way because. To this day, I have a bunch of guards up. <laughs> right. So, like, the thing about, I mean, I approach my situation with like, you know, one, like one thing in mind, right? And to turn it into something else. But with that, in the process, I'm, I was still having a gang of doubts in my head. You know what I mean? Like, in questions. Because I feel like, you know, the environment that we're exposed to now, it's just like. Like, I feel like nobody really values relationships no. anymore. Mm-hmm. You get me? Nobody really values friendships like mm-hmm. that anymore. You get me? Nobody values marriage for sure. Yeah. You get me? I feel like all of that, like, you know, you see the most of celebrities, that's the people that are in front of us yeah. all the time, right? I, maybe not with regular everyday people. I don't know if you see it with them. I'm sure you do, but I personally haven't really seen it too mm-hmm. much. So, it's just celebrities that you see like, oh, well, this person got married, now they got divorced mm-hmm. like over here and then they get married again. It's like, oh, yeah. it's like a whole, mm-hmm. you get me? Like, And I get it, you know, life is a journey, this, that, the third. But I just feel like, have we gotten to a point in society though where we don't even care about marriage? Like, do you think like a lot of yeah. us don't really look yeah. at marriage as like... You hear all the time people say, oh, marriage is such an old thing. Like, right. it doesn't apply to us anymore. Institution yeah, and blah, blah, blah. whatever. And so, um, yeah, I, I guess as society, we, you know, because we, we're kind of separated from the whole Christian values and blah, 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 right? Right. Um, so I guess in society, marriage is antiquated, but it's antiquated if you miss what 
the marriage thing was supposed to be. Hmm. You know, which, what is? I mean? which is it's like a, a uh, like a contract mm -hmm. between two people saying, "Hey, we're gonna ride this to the end, to the wheels fall off." Yeah, you get what I'm saying, and and so the same way it works mm -hmm. in another partnership, there's stipulations here too. Yeah, the only thing is that these stipulations require far more from you than yeah. you know anything else does. Yeah, it's not business. And, and it's so like and so it requires us to stop being selfish. It does. And so because we don't want to stop being selfish is the reason we say this doesn't work anymore, doesn't make sense anymore. Because sense. the moment this doesn't that makes make sense. me feel nice, it makes me feel warm, yeah, yeah. I can you know pieces. That make that makes that actually makes perfect sense. So that probably also equates though to like even our environment today. Like not to get too much off topic, but like that's what we do on social media, right? Like that like if, if we stop getting likes, you know, that yeah. um what's that yeah. endorphin or whatever, yeah. right? Like if we stop feeling that then we don't feel like, oh, like we're yeah, popping yeah. or mm -hmm. we're popular, we're losing touch. You get me? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I agree. I, I feel like, you know, today, in today's environment is not the easiest time to be in a relationship. For sure. If anything, it's the hardest yeah. time to be in a relationship. You get me? There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of this. So, you know, when you do find somebody that, you know, you generally feel like, you know, you share something with or you feel like you can trust, that's why, and, and this has nothing to do with even today's time. This has to do with like, even back in the day. Like, they'll tell you, like, you'll hold on to that person because there's not too many people that come along oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it's very different, too, because, you know, this is coming from, right, a much, I guess, like, a little bit of an older perspective, too, mm -hmm. right? Like, you're in an older relationship because, you know, when you're, like, maybe in high school, college, you, you know, you're dating and stuff, but it's not super serious to the fact of you're talking about, like, oh, we're trying to get this together. We're trying to build that together, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you find somebody that you start talking about, like, well, you know, I want to get a, a place together. I want to do this together. You start building with that person, but you start building, like, a life, yeah, like, an yeah. actual life. Like, your income depends on certain things now. Like, you know, you try to invest a little bit yeah. differently. Like, even the way you move, like, you don't even buy certain things anymore you get mm -hmm. what i'm saying because you're no longer even like on that type of time like maybe like back then you did for example me right like back then i did way more shopping like i don't even shop as much anymore you get me because i'm not going out as much anymore, yeah, you get yeah, me? You, because you, mm -hmm. i'm more situated anyways i'm like more homebody now you get me i'm not as out anymore so there are certain things that that will change so if anything you being in a relationship now i feel like constitutes for like more points if anything yeah because yeah, you probably I survived I and went yeah, yeah like you done gone through a lot more than your average i mean i feel like way back in the day right when you had no uh, realistically we're more like in jail yeah I mean, like, like yo you can't work you can't do nothing without a man so it's like you have to get married so it's like it's pretty easy to get yeah, a girl at that no, point it's yeah, really and, easy to like stay and, together and also nowadays we, we have a globalized world right so you don't necessarily are limited to just the men or the women in miami you know you can meet people in other places yep. you can travel or places i think trains are a thing Right, so there's no like that limitation boundary where it's like, oh, I'm only gonna have a chance of dating people from this place now, bro. So like yeah. things have gotten way harder. We, and if we, if it gets really rough sure. in that relationship, you know, people are thinking, I'm getting out, I'm getting out, because you know, there's it's always green, greener on the on the other side. Well, right? at least we think. Yeah, that was that's the the idea, logic. Do right? you have a reckless tweet or a reckless post or anything, or maybe an I'm down moments, anything mm. that happened this week? Intriguing. I'm yeah. still unemployed, everybody, so I don't got shit going on in my life. I've been, just so you know, all I've done is wake up, work out, eat, sleep. That's all yeah. I've been doing, so. That sounds wonderful. It does, you. but it's it's not like, um, I feel like it's not a lot going on, though. Yeah, you get what yeah. I'm saying? Like, with that. It's, it's just, like a pace. Like a yeah, yeah, I'm just like, I'm just chilling right now. Like, literally, I'm just trying to chill. Nah. Uh, I've been really calm. I've been really nice. I've been a good boy. <laughs> nothing, nothing interesting. Outside bro, as well. nothing. I mean, you know, I'm just yeah, we we get. I got old. FIFA 21, bro. Like, <laughs> we get old. That's how you know you start getting old. And you got less at, and less to like bro, try to talk about something. Like, like, like yesterday, yesterday was raining, so all I did was yeah, yeah. light up a candle, watch a movie, and then go to sleep early. But, but you know, it's crazy, like. Well, you know, when you're real young, you might be like, nah, bro, that ain't it. But that sounds that's really like good. That's like the most beautiful night ever. That sounds really good. That yeah. sounds like some, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it sounds a little gay. Like, it sounds like a little, yeah, like, obviously, you know. Like, if I had a wife, you yeah. know, I would have made a baby that night. But yeah. at this point, I live in my prayer yeah, house. Exactly, so, that's what I'm saying. It's like, so it sounds a little like, eh. I, I went to sleep at 10. But, but I, I understand, like, you know, what you're trying to build. Like, the vibe you're trying to get to. So it's like, it sounds. It's just, you know, honestly, bro, it's, it's crazy how, how you, you change, like. You look at yourself and, and then you think of your 12 year old self and you're like, that guy would be disappointed in me and I don't <laughs> care. Yeah. Because I, I got look, I got more shoes now than that guy could have ever imagined. For sure. Right? I'm doing well better than, like, way better than that guy could have ever imagined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, what I like to do is stay home and light up a candle and watch a movie. Just chill. Just chill. That's uh, how you spend th your money. Th that's, that's how you spend your money that's, real well. That's beautiful. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, that's hey. That, that's all I got to say today. But I said I said my piece with the girls today. It was hey, in my heart. Whatever we said, we take it back. We love you. Don't leave us. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, you got anything to say? No, you good? Bro, I'm good. <laughs> All right, y'all. I appreciate you guys for watching, for listening. Um, um, yo, definitely people have been reaching out. Um, I lo- I love when people reach out. Um, you know, they reach out to me personally sometimes. Um, and it's dope to see, you know, like people supporting yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate, you know, if you watch, and even if you don't comment or like, you just watch. Even if you watch five minutes, I mean, it don't matter. But but leave a like at least. So I know, like, yo, you know, we know, like, oh, y'all watching, y'all tuned in. But we appreciate you guys for watching once again. Again, if you didn't really like what you listened to, if you thought it was dumb, boring, blah, blah, it is what it is, and it probably is. If you thought we're a genius, if you thought we're handsome, if you thought we're pretty, well-dressed, well-smelled people, you're absolutely right. This is I'm Down. Till next time. Peace. Vote. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one to keep. Vote. I'm going to keep this one then. Vote. Vote. <laughs> Vote. Let it fade. <laughs>